Hi, TV News Badge here. Uh, glad to see you again. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got interested in high-def music, uh, you know, the 96-24 format, and, and I decided I'd like to carry it with me uh, as I go about my daily routine. So I started to research high-def music players, and there's not a lot out there. But I did find this little Sony, the Sony PCM slash, uh, I'm sorry, PCM dash M10. Now, those of you who are familiar with Sony sound know that you can't beat it. So I picked one up, and it's just brilliant as a, as a music player. It plays my, my high-def files without a hitch. It's got expandable memory, so I can don't have to worry about overloading it. Now, I also discovered, uh, sort of by accident really, that that this uh, little machine is extremely quiet as, as a recorder. It's a uh, very low self noise. You know, it doesn't add any electronic noise to your signal to mention, to uh, speak of. And uh, it also handles a built-in mic pretty well. Now, that's a little bit different than, the, uh, than my uh, DSLR recorder, the one I use for my double system sound with my Nikon uh, D800 up there, the Zoom uh, H. 4N, I think everybody knows that while it has the XLR inputs, they're, they're really noisy. So with some microphones, not all, but uh, basically with this recorder, you're pretty much stuck with using uh, the built-ins, which, which sound very good, by the way. The sun's coming out. I hope this doesn't affect my exposure. I, I have the thing set on an uh, on auto uh, iris, which going to give me some bad video, but I don't want to check it because it means I have to start over again. This is about the fourth time I've started because of all the, the stuff going on here in the park. Uh, but anyway, back to the back to the Sony. So anyway, I, I started to think I'm going to start using this Sony. I explore the possibility at least of using this Sony as my as my primary double system uh, recorder, uh, perhaps replacing my Zoom H4n. Now the Sony has got a couple of advantages. Of course, I talked about the very, very low uh, uh, self-noise sound. The electronics of this device add almost nothing that I can detect. But the big advantage to the Sony over the Zoom is this. It's a line input, a true line input. And this allows you to use uh, just about any microphone you want. You're not stuck with, you know, ones with the little teeny jacks. You can use uh, professional mics if you have them. You, you can use anything. Uh, with the Sony, and you can expect to get absolutely great sound. Uh, and that's what I've been playing with lately. I've, I've, I've got myself a little sound de devices mixer, uh, pre-mix. I'm sorry, I keep calling it a mixer. It's not. It's a. This is a uh, one-channel uh, pre, um, uh, pre-amp for microphones. Uh, you can see you've got your XLR inputs on the back. Uh, front, you know, you have your, your standard, uh, no dials, no fancy stuff. You have your headphone monitor, uh, you have your little uh, low cut filter uh, position, you have a limiter, and you have your gain dial. I don't know, I guess you call it gain dial, but anyway, you, you uh, select how much gain you want in your microphone, uh, microphone, and that's basically all there is to it. But this is, uh, as far as I can tell, extremely quiet, and it gives you a line out that you can feed into the line in on the Sony. Now, you say, why, why bother? Well, the answer to that, of course, is obvious. You're going to get better sound with, with the line in. And the big thing is you can use any microphone you want. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I have it hooked. Uh, I just want to make sure it wasn't on pause. I have it hooked into a um, Sennheiser uh, M64. Now, the reason I'm using this microphone, I know a lot of you people hate Sennheiser products, especially the ME series. Uh, the reason I'm using this microphone, it's the one that I'm starting to use on that DSLR over there as the uh, on-camera natural sound mic. Not necessarily uh, for audio, not necessarily for to capture great music or anything like that, but just to capture the natural sound as I, as I go about my shooting day. And uh, when you get close enough to people, it does a pretty decent job of... Uh, giving you sound bites and whatnot that you can use in an emergency. Uh, you can see when I when I uh, back off from it, it uh, uh, still I'm getting a nice 12 dB. I'm not quite on access with the mic, but right there. I mean, oh, if you're, you know, if you're close to somebody and, and the 
great thing about this mic, as opposed to others, is it doesn't reach too far. You want you know, you know, camera mic to stay about oh shooting distance from the camera. You don't want it to be picking up stuff back there in in the, in the lake. So anyway, I'm, I'm just using it with this mic. I could use it with with any mic, uh, and it would work uh, just beautifully. Let me, uh, in fact, I think I can. I don't know if I have it with me. Maybe I can. I can do it now. I've got this. I've got this little mic somewhere that I picked up at a. Uh, I don't even know where I got it, and I know nothing about it except that it's a sure mic. Uh, that's about anything that's left on it. It's. Uh, <laughs> I don't know anything about it. it looks like it. I may have picked up at a fish, uh, flea market or something, but this is a mic that I cannot use with my Zoom because it, uh, it's highly directional. It's a dynamic mic, and even though it's got the XLR inputs, I have to crank the Zoom up uh, so it's wide open in order to be able to get a signal from this mic. And, of course, it sounds like a, a snake pit, yeah, to put it, to put it bluntly. You know what might what I might do? Hey, let's just just for grins. Let's I'll probably of uh, how this uh, works. Now this is with with this little mic. Uh, let me see. I may not have to. I'm going to bump up the gain a little bit. You can see it's a very very sensitive mic. Uh, you know, I have to keep it quite a bit closer than the than the uh, Sennheiser. Uh, if I get back here, of course, it drops off, but it drops off a little bit. But if I tried to use this with the with the Zoom, I couldn't use it at all. Now, I'm not saying I would use this mic, but uh, you know, it, it might come in handy sometime because it is so directional. If I was if I was in a high traffic area and I needed to get sound, I I, I could I could see pulling this out of the kit and and. Uh, and uh, playing with it. I haven't really uh, played with it much. It's more of an antique, but it, I think it has some value down the road. So anyway, let me let me just uh, uh, plug back in here so I don't have to hold it. Ooh. Now, if, if you're wondering about the, you can, you can hear the difference. Of course, this is a powered mic. I'm running on phantom power. Uh, now, if you're wondering about the windscreen, <laughs> I lost the one that, that came with this. So this is a jerry-rigged job from uh, that I you know, took off of. Uh, actually, it's the one that I use on the Zoom. You always you always want to use a windscreen when you're out in the field. Uh, There's a lot more gain on this mic. You know, let me turn it back down to uh, my starting point. You know, that, even that's a little hot. I mean, there's, there's plenty of gain in this little sound device. and. To my ear, at least, I don't hear any any noise. Now, where was I? I forgot where I was. Oh, I was explaining the, about the Sony and the... Uh, no, let me just go through how this I set this up. Of course, you have your line in. Uh, that's easy. It says line in. So you plug your line in uh, cable into that. Now, this cable is a unique cable because it puts a signal on both channels. The Sony does not have a mono switch. So it's handy to be able to have both your signals on one channel. It makes editing a lot easier. Now, the experts will tell you on the internet <laughs> that uh, you should set your, when you're using an external mixer, you should set your uh, level on the Sony at four. Uh, something called unity gain. Okay, you can, you can look that up yourself. I'm not sure what it is, but I take their word for it. Because it's as good a starter point as any. And then, of course, you adjust your, your levels. You adjust your levels with, the, uh, with the, um, your mixer. Uh, this uh, sound device mixer, I, I, I happen to, I happen to like it a lot. All it does is, is feed one signal uh, to one uh, device, um, and that's all I need for, for what I do. I mean, I would only use this if I was doing, uh, you know, interviews or something like that. I wouldn't be using it for generic sound. In fact, if I was out here just doing generic sound, I might even just bring the um, the zoom. But I got to tell you, this thing does a nice job, probably a better job than, than the Zoom. It's just the microphones are aimed differently, so you don't really get a stereo separation. I don't think you get one with the Zoom either, but you know, I, that's, just a, that's just an argument that, that's better not to get into. So anyway, what I was going to do with this Sony is I was going to walk around the park here and try to capture some natural sound, just to see how quiet 
how quiet the, uh, the, the output would be, how useful it is. Uh, unfortunately, today, there isn't much going on. In fact, nothing going on. I mean, normally you have people, if it's a little warmer, I see a squirrel over there, but he doesn't make any sound. They've got those little padded feet, you know. He's over there eating the nuts I put out for him. I put a lot of peanuts out. I always carry peanuts in my car for, for squirrels and such. But anyway, that, that was going to be the, the uh, what I was going to do. But, uh, you know, this might, this might demonstrate uh, well enough uh, some of the capabilities uh, of the Sony. At least it'll give me a chance to evaluate if, if this is something I want to pursue. And I think I'm going to. Because when you compare this little unit with this little unit, this one is obviously superior. And it's also a mighty fine music player. And when I say mighty fine, I mean that. It is a mighty fine uh, music player. In any case, uh, I'm TV News Badge. Uh, it's good to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, I, may, uh, I may do a little bit more with this, uh, with, you know, testing some different mics. I wanted to do a comparison noise-wise between these two units. I did one in the house the other day, and uh, I was... The zoom was surprisingly noisy when you compare it to this. Uh, some mics, so I mean, I think with this mic, the zoom would be fine because it, uh, you know, this has got apparently got plenty of outlet, output to it. But you know, this this mic, you know, would not be usable with the zoom. It's perfectly usable with this. So anyway, that's that's my uh, that's my uh, little presentation for the time being. Uh, and uh, thanks for stopping by.